that these commentators talk about this book is very, very interesting. They don't take it as just uh, eros or sexuality. They, they tie it into this idea of intimacy with God, idea of intimacy with the Creator, the Maker. And, and so the desert fathers who will go into the mountains to pray will take Song of Songs as the prime text for them to pray through. I was privileged to study under uh, Professor Matazo Kayama, one arguably one of the greatest masters of uh, Nihonga, and uh, certainly in the 20th century, there's no rival to Kayama Sensei. Um, and he was someone that used a lot of gold and metallics, and he uh, was very well known for it, and at the time he started to use this post-war uh, Japan, it was a very radical thing to do, because Japan had gone through uh, an, an incredible despair, uh, and uh, things were very dark, and there were a lot of dark paintings uh, that people painted. And all of a sudden, Kama Sensei began to use gold and, and colors, um, Azurite, uh, blue, malachite, green, uh, oyster shell, white, uh, and began to paint this extraordinary bright uh, decorative paintings that harken back to 17th century Vimba paintings of the past. And people are like, oh, you know, you can't do that because we don't feel happy or we don't feel like we're recovered. And he said, well, it's, that's exactly why I'm painting this way brokenness and the trauma uh, filled post 9 11 reality. I wanted to intentionally use materials that are extravagant and uh, beautiful um, to fight back against that trauma and despair that I, I felt. Um, so many of my paintings uh, use expensive materials like gold, silver, and uh, malachite and uh, minerals. They're, they're really intentionally used to speak about hope and uh, bringing light. Uh, gold has always been a symbol in all cultures of uh, the divine. Part of my journey and things that you see even in this exhibit reflects them. Um, just like I was going to say, intentionally place beauty back into the context of darkness. I felt I was called to do the same.